Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to reset a Cisco switch to factor default. So there's two scenarios why you would need to factor default a switch. One is when the configuration has gone complicated or complex and you just want to configure it from scratch. And number two is if you want to move the switch from one network to another. In that case, you will need to factor reset the configuration. So let me show you how to do this in Packet Tracer. Okay, I'm now in Packet Tracer and I have connected a laptop to the switch using console connection. So this is the first thing that you need to ensure uh, before uh, reset, before setting your switch to factory default because you're going to uh, use connection to the switch if you are just connected to it via SSH or Talent, for example. So it's best practice that you have console connection to it. They actually prepared a step-by-step -step procedure here. So number one is done already. So this is what I did. Basically I connected this laptop to the switch via console connection. And number two is backup, backup your configuration. Of course you need to make sure, I mean, you need to backup your configuration just in case for some reason you need to restore the configuration. So you can backup your configuration to a T TFTP server or to your local PC. I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna let you do this on your own, uh, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and proceed with resetting the uh, switch to fact for default. Let me get into the switch and I actually just configure a VLAN 30 just to show you that we need to also delete VLAN and I also renamed switch from switch one to, I mean from switch to switch one. So this is you know, just, just to demonstrate that uh, the host name will be reset to switch and uh, VLAN 30 will be uh, deleted. So if I do VLAN, show VLAN, I mean, I will see the VLAN 30 that uh, I created. And this is the name of that VLAN end users. And of course, the name, like I said, for host name is SW1. The default one is switch. So let me go ahead and right do a right race so this is how you have to reset a switch enter and then i'm going to just do this command i don't need to i mean i can do dir which just to check the contents of the flash and we see that vlan dot vlan dot that is here so to delete that also we need to i mean we can Issue this command, delete space, flash, colon, vlan dot, dot, and just enter and confirm. So now we can do a reload, confirm. So this will take a minute. And now that it has reloaded, we see this system configuration dialog, which is basically asking us to enter the initial configuration or initial configuration di dialog which we don't really do so i'm just gonna say no here and now we see that the host name has um gone back to a switch and if i do show vlan you would not or we don't see vlan 30 in this case or we don't see vlan 30 anymore and if i do show show dir we don't see the file, which I mean, we learned that, that file. Okay, so that's how you can reset a Cisco switch to factor default. So again, there's two scenarios why you would need to do this. One is if the switch configuration has gotten complicated and you just want to configure it from scratch. And number two is if you are moving the switch from one network to another or one company to another, you would need to have to reset this on the switch configuration or the switch. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you have, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.